Hey folks, I'd just like to do a quick little uh, update video about my setup. Remember how I had uh, a secondary machine over here, that was the white box build? Well, I've changed that for decisions I'd like to explain. You see, I'm trying to pare down my computer setups, because as you guys know, I've been horribly addicted to building computers for the last couple years. I would change out the bedside computer every five frickin' minutes. Uh, and, you know, it was just getting ridiculous at that point, and I've been paring down lately. You saw that with the new bedside computer, that HP over there. Oh, I'm doing so with my main computer setup as well. I've moved my gaming PC over here. They use the same case, so they look beautiful next to each other. Uh, it's still the same specs. It's still a Core i5 2500K with the uh, AMD R7 370 uh, video card. You know, nothing has changed except for the fact that I've moved it from the other side of the room over to here because what I was doing before was using the Steam in-home streaming to play games from the computer when it was across the room over there which is just horribly inefficient and completely pointless so I decided to just bring the machine over here I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that build yet although it's sitting over here next to another machine next to my old bedside computer actually there's the white box I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet I'll figure it out at some point, I suppose. Yeah, it used to be right there, but... Yeah, I decided that was just a completely inefficient way to do it. Uh, what I might end up doing is taking one of those two machines I just showed you over there and hooking it up to my TV to play Steam games on the TV, like Grand Theft Auto, for example. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know yet, but I figured I'd show you that. Um, there's also one more thing I wanted to show you other than the fact that I like to watch videos about Pentiums. Uh, this is just something silly I thought you guys might enjoy. Uh, the other day, I was shown how to... Uh, ha well, let me explain. In Linux, there's a sound system called ALSA, which is the basis of Pulse Audio that's around now. And ALSA can channel anything to your speakers, including your hard drive data. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, what what uh, I was shown how to do the past couple days is to uh, actually play sounds of a hard drive. And my hard drives on here are slash dev slash SDE, SDF, and SDG. So let's play different part. So you can literally play partition data through your speakers. That's awesome. I mean, <laughs> that's nerdy as hell. It reminds me of the old British 80s computers where you could uh, record data to a cassette. It, I, wonder if you, I wonder if you could record the, these sounds to something and play them back and actually get data out of it. That'd be very interesting. Um, but these, this is the command to do it. Uh, sudo cat slash dev slash sd whatever your drive is and the partition number. Pipe a play dash f cdr and there's different formats you can do cdr you can do dat and just cd and all that does is really change the sampling rate it doesn't really do a whole lot but uh... let's try playing my um, root partition through the speakers it's kind of in stereo How cool is that? <laughs> Let's try my swap partition. That's SDE2. Now my swap partition doesn't seem to make any noise. So let's try opening appearance or something like that and moving shit around. I don't think it's going to I don't think it's going to make any noise. Now I have two now my data drives are in RAID 1. So Let's see how those sound. We can do SDF1, I suppose. See, when, when you initialize that, you hear... Di -di 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 <laughs> and it does that. So if I open, let's say, my home folder, I get the sound. And it's a weird, like, surrounding stereo, too. How weird is that? 
Let's go into my Windows backup folder from when I had Windows on this machine and see what that does. That didn't do anything surprisingly. That's weird. Well, the drive that made the most noise was the second drive in my RAID array, which is SDG. And that one is literally just like a copy of SDF1. So, SDG. If I open my places folder, or my home folder here. That's what hard drive data sounds like. <laughs> that one especially, I thought was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, how how weird is that? You can use Linux to play hard drive data through your speakers. Sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? <laughs> now I wonder if there's a way to play that audio and interpret it back into a machine and see what the data is. I'm sure there's a way to do that, I just don't know what it is be interesting to see that uh, but yeah I just thought I'd make this random video and show you guys that because I thought it was uh, I just thought it was funny I changed my gaming setup and you can make your hard drive talk I hope you guys enjoyed this completely off the wall video I think I'm gonna get back to watching videos about Pentiums because why not CPUs are cool have a good one everybody ciao